I don't get it, Terry. All the other crypto YouTubers are getting sponsors all the time, like almost every video, and you know, I, I get none. I mean, I had like one or two back in the days, and they, they were pretty alright, but uh, you know, it's dried out. No one wants to sponsor me, I don't know why. I, I don't do anything weird, I'm not a liability or anything. I don't get it, but, uh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Terry, you want to do some heroin? Ah, nice. Oh, thanks. Crypto gaming. Once a promising euphoric era with insane earnings and what seemed like limitless potential with big green erect penis-like charts, just like my penis in my early 20s, the impotent, the limp, dangling noodles much like my current penis and losses and bad investments enough to make me start early on my suicide note. Is crypto gaming dead? Has it lived out its hype and everyone is left living on skid row while the developers got a nice paycheck? No, I don't think so. I think it's just the start of crypto gaming, but a combination of a bull market and being something new with not too much competition or too many games to choose from made these insane earnings and evaluations possible. It was great for a while, but turns out, economics. Let's talk about the speed with which we are watching this market deteriorate. Because we're now down 43%. What in the world is happening? Not so easy, huh? The vast majority of these crypto games died because of unforeseen and unsustainable economic issues. And of course, some straight up scams and rug pulls. Commonly known as, oh no guys, someone hacked our game and stole all the liquidity. Or even better, Oh, it's this developer we hired from uh, outside. We don't know who he is, but yeah, he ran away with all the money. Yeah, so uh, it's a pretty common cycle in crypto. Insane hype for something new. The first few dozen new projects rocket to the moon for a while. Then more and more projects join in along with more and more scammers profiting from the hype. And then the vast majority of it dies out and burns to the ground faster than you can prematurely ejaculate because the hype dies out and the majority of these projects can't deliver. It's the same thing with crypto gaming. Does that mean it's all shit and you can't make money? No. A lot of people made a shit ton of money and still are. People who knew when to take profits, that got in early or at the right time, that got lucky or joined the actual rare good projects. Crypto gaming will stay and there will be good games that don't die within two months of its release. It's just not time yet. Till then, you gotta dig through the dirt and shit until you find the gold. The reason why I didn't make any new videos, well, besides the fact that I was spending all my money on crack cocaine and hookers, is because it's the same old shit in a new package. The majority of these games aren't really games, it's just mining crypto with extra steps. And after more and more games kept coming to the market, with a lot of them being copies of the same formula of previous games and previous scams, I lost all motivation and will to put up the facade of, hey guys, let's have a look at this new crypto game. All while I cry internally. But I do want to keep making videos, since I talk to myself all day long, might as well record some of it too and get that swig big juicy YouTube revenue. So let's compare two crypto games. One would be another new crypto game with a beat into that formula that might or might not work out or might or might not be an actual game or a scam. With one that does things with an improved formula and better potential and reasons to not be a scam or driven to death by people who don't actually know how to make games but want to try and profit from the hype anyway. So I was browsing new games to see if there's any hope and was coming across the same shit as always. I landed on this one and thought, fuck it, I'll just make a video to please my huge fan base. But I read the white paper, the tokenomics, gameplay, it's the same shit. Mint the NFT using your crypto. Put the NFT to mine or stake. Add some extra steps with materials and time limits and bada bing bada boom, you got yourself an NFT game. Now, am I saying this particular game is a scam or it's gonna eat shit and fail? No, I can't possibly know. That's why I throw money at anything and everything because just like an Alzheimer's patient, I never learn. But what I can say is that it looks the same game formula I've seen countless times. And that's why at this point, investing in them becomes just like a game show where you try to guess what will eventually happen. Hello and welcome to our crypto game show with my drug dealer, Terry. Today, we're gonna be exploring our newest game's options. Uh, let's get right into it. Is it gonna be just a regular scam? Is it gonna be a rug pull? Is it gonna die to shit economics? Is it gonna be a hack slash bug exploit? Or, last but not least, and the least, 
uh, the least uh, likely option. The game will moon and we all get Lambos, but they're all pink because that's the coolest color. Thanks for joining in our t in, t in thanks thanks. See you next time on our game show. That was great, Terry. One take. That's all. That's all it took. Nice. All right. Well, we can. What? What are you doing, Terry? Why are you robbing me at gunpoint? What? What do you mean reality check? What? Rough neighborhood, Terry. We're, we're in a nice fucking city. The crime rate is like extremely low. What? I'm not. No, I'm not gonna give you my fucking wallet, Terry. I thought we were over this, Terry. No. 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 no Terry. You fuck. Shut up. Leave your answers in the comments, and if you get it right, I'll give you a shout out in my suicide letter. Now let's have a look at another crypto game. One that I made previous videos on and will continue for the following reasons. For starters, it's an actual game. You can go and play it when you want. You don't have to wait 2, 4 or 8 hours until your NFT cools down so you can click on it once again and wait once again. Now, am I saying this particular game is good and will do great and get you that new Lambo? No. I can't possibly know, but what I can say is that I like the approach it takes and you know who the developers are, their experience and their beautiful faces. Look at that beautiful specimen, my god Dan. Give me a free house you bastard. It's been in development for more than a year now and they are taking it nice and slow step by step but with constant updates and tight community where you can always discuss openly with them. The game formula isn't just, hey, mint your NFT, throw as much money as you want into it and if you get lucky or have enough money to get all the good shit have 10,000 times higher return than the people who started two months ahead of you and kill the game by constantly dumping the token because there's nothing else to do with it. In Immersus, they have a proof of progress formula, which means you have to play the game and progress in it to be able to upgrade and make new items. You know, just like in a, a game, you have blueprints that are account bound, can't be traded or bought, therefore you can't just pay to win. The game's economy and success isn't based just on its token, and the hope that people are just gonna keep buying in and the price is gonna keep going higher and higher and people aren't gonna sell for some reason. They do have a token but it's also a key element in the game since you need to use it to craft the NFTs for the game and some in-game purchases as well and whatever, probably more and more options and uses for it coming. And the earning potential isn't based on just the token. You have a secondary market for all the materials and equipment crafted and furniture and accessories and all that shit. Okay, so what I'm saying is you can make good money from this game? No. After a good 8 hour shift of playing, you can end up with $5 worth of materials that no one will buy because there's no demand for it. Yet. But what I am saying is that it's an actual game. It's doing something in the crypto gaming field that 99% of other games aren't doing. Which is being an actual game. What I am saying is that you can see the gradual development of the game that keeps getting better and better. Currently, there isn't all that much to do. You get whichever tools you want to farm the materials with and can farm mindlessly for hours, which is actually pretty enjoyable to be honest. You can have some PvP battles or join some community events that happen from time to time and you can browse what the game and its community have to offer for now. For a brief period, we did have a nice play to earn window where you could farm the resources and then burn them to get their token, which then can be used to craft other equipment or furniture or accessories or of course to exchange them to your preferred crypto and blow it on blow. While it lasted, people started playing. Materials were being bought and burned and there was a reason to stay active. Then it got close to resolve some issues that might have damaged the long term economy and it's still a work in progress for more than a month or two or... I don't know, I just lose the concept of time every morning when I wake up and take a bong hit that's fatter than Fat Albert. He probably had a ton of health issues. So what I'm saying is that the game, once fully functional, is self-sustainable for the player. You can basically start playing for free since you can collect materials without a tool as well. Burn it, get the token, use the token to buy materials you need to craft better gear, get the better gear blueprint from actually playing the game and upgrade, rinse and repeat. Use the earnings to buy new basic tools so you can then upgrade and so on. Now, do you have to play the game to be able to have the best tools? No, you can buy them on the market. But you do need to play to get blueprints and be able to craft NFTs that no one else who doesn't have the blueprint can craft and be able to sell them yourself and make money along with accessories and visual elements, thus the community is setting the prices. But to get to my final point as to why I think Immersus might have the right formula to make it in the long run, is because if you want to have a successful crypto game, you need to leave aside the earnings potential for a bit and look at the actual game and what it has to offer. But most importantly, the potential you can actually see in it. As of right now, the offering is limited, but enough to be enjoyable and get a head start. But I could see how it would have potential. 
I can see how when we will be able to earn the token again and people will have a reason to come and spend time on the game, all the while the game keeps evolving, getting better and better, with more and more things to do, focusing on some important elements that make games popular like free roaming, community, the ability to talk and have your own community within this community, to have your own apartment or shop in the game, to participate in community made events, to customizing your avatar to your likes and so on. People will see the actual game for the game that it is and not the money printer that they hope it will be. And they will play the game just for the enjoyment of the game and the community they have inside it. At least, that is my optimistic vision for this game and for the future of crypto gaming where the focus is more on the actual game and making it better rather than how much money you could make from it. But as always, I'm just a crackhead so what the fuck do I know?